Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Teen Stock Unifemi Podcast. It's your host Olu Anifemi and I'm so happy to be here once again. Last week's episode we talked about the hand of the Lord and it was basically talking about what the hand of the Lord is and what happens when the hand of the Lord is upon you. So if you have not listened to that episode, just listen to it. Just listen to it. You don't expect me to start begging to listen to it. So how my week went? My week was okay. My week was okay. And I want to apologize for the late release of this episode. I'm recording currently on a Monday. <laughs> and I just want to thank those that were keeping tabs on me when I posted on my story that no episode was going to drop. Because honestly, I wasn't planning to drop an episode this week. I wanted to run away. <laughs> Well, I'm grateful for the people that dragged me back. I said, oh, what's, what's going on? And, like, I just thought about it. I did a lot of deep thinking, and I realized that I really should drop an episode today because I have to. Yeah, so I apologize once again. That being said, let's get into the business of today. This episode is from the heart. Why? What is your why? Why do you do what you do? Why did you start that project? Why did you start that podcast? Why did you start that blog? Why do you create content? Why do you need to know your why? I'm going to title this episode, What is your why? And there is this particular question I ask myself time and time again. And if I'm why did you start that podcast because there are times where i actually go so oblivious of the reason why i started podcast i start depending on all oh, people's reviews or oh, the number of plays i get on a particular episode and times it might get so discouraging i become discouraged and i don't want to put out an episode so then that's when i have to go back to why did i choose to do this there are times you feel so overwhelmed you feel so empty and you start losing interest in what you once loved and enjoyed doing this is when you go back to the drawing board and ask yourself what is your why what is your major motivation or reason for what you do it is when you figure out your why that you are able to find that joy and enthusiasm again how do you find your why one god god is the center of it all is the beginning and the end and times like this this is when you communicate with god ask him to remind you again for the sole purpose of starting what you started. Ask for his help. Tell him that you feel tired. Tell him that you don't know what to do again. You are losing joy in what you once loved. You don't find excitement in doing that thing you used to do before. It's just a simple communication with God. It's such a simple heart conversation that you have to have with God. Recently, I've been asking myself questions. Should I stop podcasting? Should I take a break? And I know that if I take a break, it will be so hard to come back. So yesterday, I had this deep conversation with God. And I basically told him how tired I was. And I needed to find my why. Because my why is not because, oh, because I want people to drop reviews. Oh, because I want people to just listen. My why for starting to stop me for me podcast is because God laid it in my heart. It was an assignment that he gave me that I have to do. So I am not doing this based on because I just want to do it. I'm doing this because it's God. This is God's project. This is God's mission. So it is not about me. It is about God. So yes, I feel tired. But it is not about me. God will give me that strength when I feel tired. 
so yes i don't know what to talk about on my podcast it is not about me because god will tell me what to talk about on my podcast on god's podcast i feel like taking a break it is not about me i don't get to decide that i want to take a break i need to reach out to the one who gave me this assignment which is god so reach out to him tell him how you feel and let him lead you let him guide you the second thing is reflect and there's an episode that talked about reflect and just go back and think of how you started think of your journey so far think about what made you start what exactly motivated you into starting what you do think about it and when you sit down and look at the journey so far how far you have come you are just filled with so much joy you are just filled with so much gratitude because you know that you have come a long way the third thing is identify the issue find out what makes you burned out and overwhelmed write it down and work towards solving that issue let me use myself as, as an example when I get tired of doing things that I love doing or things that give me joy, for example, this podcast, I realize that most times because I'm actually frustrated, I'm actually putting myself into a whole lot of things that is making me feel overwhelmed. Or it could be that the devil is trying to have his way. But you won't let the devil have his way. So you identify what the issue is and you tackle it tackle it with God because it will help you fight that battle it will help you fight that issue it will help you fight that problem so identify the issue and work towards solving that issue don't just leave the issue lying there don't just leave that problem lying there work towards solving it the fourth thing I'll say is believe in yourself my dear let me be honest with you self-doubt will come imposter syndrome will come there will be times you doubt yourself there will be times you feel inadequate there will be times you feel you are not enough but i want you to believe in yourself i want you to believe in yourself you are your greatest support system you are your greatest cheerleader if i build myself oh you did well oh you did well in this thing but if you don't believe in yourself it's all a waste of time so you really do need to believe in yourself you need to be confident in yourself you need to be bold and know that you can do it you can do it you can do it and you can do all things through christ who strengthens you so believe in yourself today then the last one don't give up no matter the challenges no matter the troubles and circumstances no matter how tired you are never give up sure rest when you need to rest take a break when you need to give yourself a treat when you need to take care of yourself but never ever say oh i give up i'm not doing it again (laughs) never give up there are times i've said to myself I'm not doing it again i'm not doing this thing again like i i have given up there are times i've said to myself that i have given up but it's, it's it's just so wonderful to see how god is intentional about me so even times i say oh i give up sometimes i can hear god saying <laughs> you're deceiving yourself like is it me you are telling that you have given up who are you to say that you have given up when i have not told you to give up never give up never give up you feel tired that's fine seek your strength from jesus draw your strength from him because he's the one that can give you a everlasting strength i want you to ruminate on these things and ask yourself that question what is your why and i pray that as you listen to this episode god ministers to you and you are blessed by this episode i want you to know that god loves you and i know sometimes you feel like god does not love you 
or maybe he's distant but no and always know that god loves you and he's waiting for you to invite him into your life bye guys see you on another episode